What's good, you guys? Happy tour season. All right, it's Wednesday, which I guess is the perfect day for me to be coming to talk about and just share stuff, you know. Um, man, I just have, I feel like I have so many things that I want to say. And so I wrote some stuff down. So I'm going to be looking down to make sure that I share things because I find myself, you know, making written posts and being able to really express myself. But then um, I get to making videos and things leave my mind and I'm not saying everything it is I want to say. And then if I just so happen to go back and watch it, I'll be like, dang, I wanted to also say X, Y, Z and all of that, you know, so happy tour season, y'all. I know I have been gone, like pretty much the remainder of Aries season since the Aries new moon for real. Um, that was the beginning of April. Mm, that's not that wasn't that long ago it seems like a long time ago but it's only been like a couple of weeks or whatever so yeah basically all right so I just really been after the retreat um I really went into this rebirthing stage I, I wasn't expecting it and it that's what happened um I really been like in this infancy space observing everything it is that's going on but not really being able to do anything out of the fact of not having the understanding it is that I needed in order to put all the parts together all right because um as things are things have really been shifting in my life uh from just a lot of different spaces like of myself internally but also externally you know just and that has been creating a need for me to shift up my day-to-day -day life my rituals how it is that I go about living you know and align getting more in alignment to where it is that I'm going where I'm headed how I'm gonna go about doing things and you know part of me wants to just be airy and impulsive and just do it and be like I'm gonna figure it out as I go kind of thing but you know then my Taurus moon shows up and be like we need a plan we need to get organized this needs to be this way all right um yeah and we gonna do it that way but then I get to making a plan and acting on that plan and still recognizing that I have some parts missing right and a lot of that it it's been less of my perfection showing up as procrastination and my perfection showing up as an obstacle in me being able to handle or get with what it is that I need to do, right? Or be in life how I need to be in life that it's best for me. That makes me feel good, right? Because I, I need to feel good. If I'm be doing anything with anybody at any kind of time, in any kind of relationship, I need to be feeling good, okay, so that can flow, and I can be in this space of being able to see everything in the way in which it is that I personally, in my human experience, need to be seeing stuff, okay, so now, so some of the things that I want to share, um, yeah, so I've been in this space over the past two, three weeks of or recognizing um, where my soul, where I've had soul loss, right? Because uh, within the dynamic of the whole, if we consider what rebirthing really means, this is um, like a sense of transformation. It's like almost like the phoenix rising, coming from the ashes into like this beautiful bird or whatever. But in rebirth, sometimes everything doesn't go away. You know, we take the best parts with us, you know, and I've been seeing for the past many years, so like maybe we can say like 10 years max, uh, or maybe let's say nine when I really like just let go aspects and parts of myself, um, which was really my Aryan nature, my fiery spark, right, my um, blunt, brash, confident, uh, being okay with being myself, me, right? Because who I have been for the past however many years, it's just, it's been me, but like not, not how I used to be, right? But at the same time, what I 
what I've grown to understood to understand is that that part of myself couldn't really be in the forefront of what's been going on in my life in the past however many years because honestly I think or I know that I wouldn't have stuck around in the places that I did in order to learn the lessons that I learned in the way in which it is that I learned them you know because it you didn't have to pay me to stick around I wouldn't if I didn't want to be there I wouldn't be there you know if I if I didn't want to take part in something I didn't want to take part if I was uncomfortable I'm out right but over these past years I've been learning to be okay with being uncomfortable and seeing what it is that that really is for me like why am I uncomfortable what is here like what what about this experience it is that I'm having that I'm meant to learn about myself right and what do the roles that all the different spirits that I'm connecting with what what role do they play within my growth within me being able to enhance with me being able to involve evolve right and be a better version of myself right and in the soul loss aspect I also um I demonized a lot of myself because like there were a lot of people like I have my one of my best friends she's like you know I didn't see it like that I didn't see you being how you seen you be right she's like I, I seen you uh being confident and, and courageous and, and bold and you know free for real you know just on some um it was admirable type of shit and me, I felt like it was too much because I felt like I was always being told, like, you're doing too much. Why you got to say that? Why? Mm, eh, eh. You know, granted, that was not the majority of it, but it seems, I guess, if we want to place it on something, it could be my uh, Capricorn, my strong Capricorn energy, um, seeing things from a not so optimistic light, especially uh when it comes to an opinion of somebody else right and I feel like I've talked about that before like so many times um so yeah so with that um I've been able to learn a lot of stuff I've been able to do a lot of growing I've been able to um connect with some really amazing people I've been able to connect with parts of myself that I did not know exist, didn't realize that the energy it is that I was holding was because of what I know now, right? And how it is that that, what that means for me and, and, and my ability in so many aspects, so many places in my life, okay? So now we recently had Easter Sunday and Easter was so triggering for me. I was so triggered during Easter, okay, nobody did anything to me, but the night before, um, or that the, the, my sleeping hours before I woke up for Easter Sunday, um, I had a dream, and my grandfather was there, okay, and this is my maternal grandfather, and it was such a sweet dream, because he came to remind me of so many parts of myself, remind me of afterwards, I was having, like, in visions of when I was a little, little girl and um, his presence being in my life and who I was at that time and where I was at that time and, you know, how I seen things. And it's just like, I'm starting to, or I see life through eyes that I have not looked through in decades, you know, and it's a very emotional thing. Like I really cried for <laughs> It was just a day, but I cried about it because it was just so touching that in and more so it was touching of the fact that it was him who came to remind me of this, you know, because he's not um he's not an ancestor that I have on an altar. Um I venerate him through memory out of the experiences it experiences that I've had through um having him up on the altar and all the stuff that came with that but I recognize the need of the the growth it is the understanding it is that I needed to hold 
or come to in order for like in a sense help support him on that side of where he is so that he could move through that you know because that is a lot of at least that's what I believe everybody don't believe that people don't be wanting to feel like that they life have anything to do with they they did right they did that come from before them but I personally know okay and feel in honor that those who came before me are as important as those who are here with me because if it was not for them then I would not be right and through that so much lives in me through all of their experiences and you know I believe that the masculine gives us the information it is that we need our 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 mother figures our our mothers who have passed they offer us the the nurturing the insight the guidance you know the the intuition the intuitive sparks right help us connect with our our psychic awareness and all the things mystical and mistress mysterious and magical and that the masculine helps us move forward through this physical realm with from through their experiences that's my personal belief all right (laughs) <laughs> that's just my first belief but Easter was so triggering for me because um my grandmother his wife she passed on the week of Easter of my 22nd year of life so my birthday is before Easter and she passed the the, the week after but we didn't have her funeral till two weeks later because um catholic church is they not east sunday is not happening all right so we had her funeral the week after she passed um so with that it just reminded me how i've actually been in this space of being very aware of these trend these transitions that were taking part of my life since I was 22 and it's like it's 11 years later and I'm finally prepared to fully walk through this door as my whole self as myself in unison not feeling like that I can't be no part of me not feeling like that I gotta hide some aspect of me all right not feeling like that anything of myself is too much to to show up and be in you know and that has been for me, the way I operate within my own personal energetic field, I be I be having to take time to sit with stuff, to understand stuff, because peace is becoming like reality speaks to me in signs and symbols. All right. And I'm following that shit. Like I'm going with what's synchronized. Where where am I being led? What is feeling right? What is feeling good? What is being what is honestly there? Right. What's really real? and also you know cultivating the faith it is that I need to have in order to continue to move forward and live this way now um having brought myself back fully to the forefront like this space that's been in the background right but that's been really desiring to come and be be part right like I want to I want to play too right because that that was my energy. Like, let's go have some fun. Let's go do something. Like, we're not going to be sitting around here. But I recognize that that loss of myself has kept me out of the place of being able to show up in like this very um, curious space of my duties now as a as a as a mother as a homemaker as a wife right and being really in that right in some sense it's kind of been jaded right but it's been through it's been necessary out of the growth it is that needed to take place within me right it it had to happen in a sense in order because I wouldn't have been able to receive. I wouldn't have been able to see clearly being in that space. Like, I don't even know how to put to words to um, really make sense of where I used to be internally when it came to different things. Cause I would just be like, all right, I'm good. I'm out. Like I would not sit around and 
I wouldn't necessarily say I was blaming others in regard to it, but I wasn't seeing the significance of the circumstances that I would be in, right? It took a lot. I had to tear down to, to, con to connect with a deeper aspect of myself so then I could fully rebuild, build myself back up. All right, so what else did I wanna share? Yeah, so that was, I thought I wanted to share more than that, but I guess when you get to talking about it, it's different when you write. Writing makes a, anything seem drawn out, but I guess it's like the difference between reading a book and watching a movie of the book, <laughs> you know, so, um, but this time has been, it's been so irreplaceable, so sacred, you know, so personal, and just full of a lot of, of growth and, and love and appreciation for the life it is that I have come to live and what I've experienced and the people who have been here with me. And I feel like I want to write some letters to a few people to uh, let them know that I love them, even though I'm not there, you know, that that I do think about them, you know, it's in, it's fleeting, but the thought is there, you know, um, and just in like having a lot of gratitude for the role it is that has, that they showed up in, in my life, in my world and um, what that did for me, you know, what that brought forward for me, you know, and how that helped me become, how that helped me grow, and um, just that any choices that I decided to make, it was never personal toward them in regards to them, you know, everything just be very spiritual, right, but I know me, and that's the difference, the, the old me, that me who um, had to be rebirthed from this soul loss, would have everything would have been very personal right like a very much so a feeling some kind of way about something and now it's just like this is this is where I'm at this is what I gotta do um you know and yeah so we have also been in this space where I have um in regards to how I've been gonna go, how I'm gonna go about Bashar's schooling, right? Because I had shared in the past how we have been doing schooling with him since he's turned five and everything. But uh, getting him to uh, stay very consistent with that aspect of myself that I had to really reconnect with, it had kept me out of this space of really enjoying what it is that I was choosing to do right? Not having that connection with myself um, really had me in a place of like, uh, okay, I'm gonna do this and missing the, the, the fun aspects out of it, right? The excitement out of, because I'm when I make choices, when I choose to do something, it's really well thought out. <laughs> like it's uh, probably very researched. I've probably like looked up the astrology of it, uh, looked up if there are any animals, numbers involved. I'm looking at that to see what that is, what that means, and where the synchronicities lie within that, and what's going on with that, what that means for me. And through that, that's exciting. But the whole aspect of living it out, carrying it out, that 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 active um, Aries energy, it, it wasn't there. I would still be doing stuff, but the curiosity of things, when there is no curiosity in what it is that you're doing, you can miss the vibrancy that is present within it, right? It help, it, it stops you from really being able to enjoy and embrace the moment where it is that you are. And eventually that that that's burnout. That can burn you out, not enjoying anything for real. It's like, I'm doing this because yes, I deeply want to do this. I deeply love it, but why am I not enjoying it? Is this not what I should be doing? But it wasn't that I shouldn't be doing it. I have been doing it from a space that wasn't completely me, 
right? It was part of me, but not completely. And now I'm feeling like, oh, yes, this is going to be done. Okay, so through that, with that, I have um, before, even before I, I decided, not necessarily decided to have children because it wasn't like a decision I had to sit down and make. Children was something that I always wanted to have, you know, um, but how when I entered this this timeline of my life, uh, how I wanted to go about raising them. You know, so I've been going back and forth on, am I going to send him to school? I'm going to send him to school and do all of this. And that was more so like, and I had to realize that a lot of me sending him to school was to get him on some type of structure, get him um, uh, in some type of order. Because at one time, we had all the structure, all the order, okay? But then when my husband broke his leg, that shifted everything because I was in this space of, you know, being a stay-at-home mom, taking care of my toddler, you know, was just playing around, going on walks, cooking meals together, him sitting in the kitchen with me, you know, us watching little shows and all kind of stuff, just doing mommy stuff and everything like that. And then I think at one time I was like in culinary school for like a year and doing all that. And then um, my husband broke his leg and oh my God, <laughs> I was still in culinary school when he broke his leg. Like, that shot me into this space of survival that I didn't even realize that I was in. And it's like that all happened along with my Saturn return happening. And it, it, it all, it all fit together though. You know, all things come full circle. And that day I realized, um, you know, cause I'm like, shit, like, that that was that was how we was taking care of life that was our source of income you know that was um that was our provider you know that was uh and also in some aspects him being injured him being hurt him being incapacitated uh, like some aspect that is tied within the masculine and the feminine aspect of union and the protection and all of that like it, it was just a plethora of emotions that I was experiencing like oh my goodness I'll even <laughs> I'm gonna do a conscious story on that that is tied that has to do with all that was crazy okay some wild shit happened <laughs> but um it was so unexpected but I'll talk about it when I get to that so it's not gonna be in this video though it'll be in another video but um, so I finally figured out, you know, got very sure on what I'm going to do as far as Bashar school um, and him learning more than anything, because life is learning, you know, more when it comes to school, what I look at school for is like structure, uh, interaction and um, and like learning, right, education. But education is in so many so, and you know, as far as education, I had to sit back and look at like, well, how am I learn? How am I looking at education? And the education is that we learn. Is it something that is even going to be useful for him? Because a lot of the majority of things, I guess, that I would have needed him to go to school as far as education would be like um, English and like history, right? And that's because. I'm like, I, I, I naturally excel. I know I can teach him math and science. Like those were the two, um, what is it? Subjects in school that I excelled at, you know, like AP science, um, always ahead in math kind of thing and all that kind of stuff, you know? So it's in my nature to know how to do this, but also know how to teach this. And when it comes to the whole history part, it's just like, do I really even want him? I had to ask myself, do I even care for him to learn any type of history in a sense? Because half that shit ain't even true. And where it is, it's, it's, it's twisted, it's bent, you know? So it's just having to consider and reconsider 
um, my ideas, my beliefs in surrounding those things so that I could really be able to show up in the way in which it is that I felt like I needed to for him, for his education, you know, so we decided upon that and, and got clear with that. So I've been doing, getting a lot of stuff together, you know, uh, to help him with his structure, right? Because with what I'm learning with five-year-olds, right? May not just be five-year-olds, but even little ones, like when they have an understanding of why it is that they're doing something, they're more willing to do it, right? So they like, oh, I wanna do this because it's fun. I understand that I'm gonna have fun, you know? So it's kind of the same thing. Like if I wanna teach him, or me teaching him time, right? I'm, I'm teaching you this time so that you can know how much space it is that you have to do this, how long we're gonna do this, right? Um, how many hours you get to sleep, things like that. Like that's a whole whatever in itself. And so with all of that, that is bringing me to the space of, you know, when it comes to sharing, when it comes to being on social media, you know, even had to having to consider and recognize with that, because like, are we being really social on social media? And partly uh, from my perspective, yes and no, you know, it just depends. Like I've met a lot of great people on social media that I'd be social with, not on social media. Okay. And then some of them that I do be social with on social media. So it just varies. And I guess it has a lot to do with what we show up with, what we sharing, what we talking about and things like that. So with that, when it comes to social media, because I am sharing this here on that platform, on that type of platform, I'm going to just be sharing a lot about living. Okay. Um, and YouTube is where I'll be doing readings. I'll be um, uh, just talking about like everything that comes with what I do, right? So that is a lot about um, uh, tarot, divination in itself, right? Uh, a lot in regards to the mind and our beliefs, right? And how we go about thinking things and perceiving things and what that means for us and the connections it is that we have. And, you know, how we perceive relationships and us being in them and us, you know, recognizing and seeing another, things of that nature, mental things, mind feeling things, right? And then also about conjure, right? And about our magic as humans, as people, our magic as black humans, right? In in this reality, in our power within that and what that even really means for us through all of what has been um, propagated and, and, and placed in our face to be true, whether it truly is that or not, you know? So um, that'll be over there on, on YouTube, so yes, join me over there. I will be finishing up the rest of the spring <laughs> readings um, over this, the past, these next two weeks before the second half of tour season gets here. The spring readings will be done, okay? And then um, I'm be sharing um, tour season and Taurus, you will get your own reading for your season, all right, in the next week as well. If so, and then we have Patreon, right? So Patreon is a membership, basically. So this is where the monthly price you pay, you get what is there within that portion, which within that level, whatever they call it, their tier. Okay, so each tier is something different. One tier is terror, one tier is hypnotherapy, the last tier is conjure, right? And I'm also about to add some stuff there. So we about to get into the womb. We, um, I don't know if y'all remember when, well, a lot of people I'm sure remember when I used to be sharing all the womb, all the things, okay? My, um, it's interesting because talking about this, so as I've been going through and learning and, and, and connecting more with myself and uh, really connecting with the hoodoo within me, you know, I've been acknowledging and embracing um, the fact that I was initiated into Sacred Woman, you know, and 
realizing the the love, the beauty it is that 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 offers in my life, that that brings in my life, and um, seeing where how much of that is living in me has so much to do with um, what I have chosen, what I choose, and why I choose it. Right through through the wisdom it is that I hold from that. Right, because that's really what initiations be. They they provide you wisdom. That's why back in the day, it used to take decades for people to go through mystery school before they started being out here being um, what you call it, gurus or whatever you want to call it, teachers, professors, mystics, however. So um, yeah, and how important that is. And a lot of that, a lot of my journey began through the womb right it was it was through the health of the womb through the health of the women and seeing that within my world and what that meant surrounding me what everyone around me was experiencing within my large family that I have and in realizing that there that it is possible to not have to live like that and um, what that has brought for me within my in my life up until this point you know and things I feel that just need to be shared <laughs> okay so um yeah we will I'm gonna be adding um I have put together some workbooks years ago that I'm like oh it's time for me to do this right it's time for me to share this so um, I'll be adding a section on there where, you know, you still get everything, but as far as getting to know yourself, right? So where we break down your astrology and go all the way into that, all right? And incorporate everything else within that. And then also um, the womb aspect of things, you know? So we talking about the metaphysics of the womb, the healing of the womb, the illnesses of the womb the pains of the womb, the mood, the, the cycles of the womb and what that mean for us and our emotions connected and tied to that, okay? And how that reflects in our world, in our life and how we show up as women and what that means in the spaces it is that we hold within these cyclical seasons within our bodies, right? Within our being and, and what that really means to how we show up within this through each phase, right? And really connecting with ourselves in that way because that shit's so precious. Like, it's so sacred. We need that. Like, it, we need that. So, yeah, y'all. Join me on Patreon. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hey there, if you here on Instagram, okay? And, you know, Instagram will be me just, you know, out here mothering and living and cooking it up. Okay, and yeah, y'all, <laughs> it's a new day. It's tour season, and I'm just here to play. I'm here to play, have fun, and live my life in the way in which it is that I know I will, you know, in doing that in a happy way, you know, choosing to feel good because it feels good to feel good. All right, don't nobody want to be out here miserable don't nobody want to be out here made to being made to feel like it's something wrong with them being them or however you know and you know offering the support that's needed for whenever you get to that place when you need some support in working through walking through feeling through thinking through you know conjuring through whatever it is that you got going on because it's I'm here for it y'all like that's just where I'm at with it okay so I've been getting adjusted to these new things in my life in my world um to me seeing very clearly I'm, I'm very sure the clarity is going to continue to open up to expand, right? And coming out of, just been coming out of the fog and, um, and, and releasing, letting go, letting healing truly take place, right? And not just be like, I'm healing, but still be commiserating in the energetic space of what's being held, still being tied to 
what happened and all the things. And it's like, we can't change what happened. What did you learn? Where are you now? Who are you now that that had that you've experienced that? You know, where what was consistent in that? What what did it teach you? Who who did you grow into be now because of? You know, and ooh, yeah. It's been it's been an interesting time. Um yeah, I think my words are losing me. It's Wednesday, y'all. Wednesdays are ruled by Mercury. Okay, it's Taurus season. I think the moon still might be in Sagittarius. Um, if not, it's about to be in Capricorn. Either way, that is all about forward movement. And uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of movement taking place right now. And it's happening fairly. It's happening steadily, but quickly. It's happening in a very... Um, in a fashion of uh, steadfastness, right? Like, um, let me make sure that I'm reading the fine print. Let me make sure that I'm seeing everything through before I go ahead and sign on this dotted line to move forward in this direction it is that I'm going. So that I can be very sure. Let me make sure that I'm tapped into my senses that everything feels aligned to me, that I'm doing this in the correct way. Okay, so y'all, Bashar has been doing his independent thing for long enough, it's time for me to go and um, see what he doing and see what we about to do next. And I hope y'all have a wonderful week. Y'all can expect those um, videos, those tarot videos complete by Sunday. They'll all be up there by Sunday, okay? So y'all have a beautiful Wednesday. I hope y'all get some communication going, some understanding had made, some um, let some healing take place, right? Maybe you want to freshen up your routines. Maybe you want to freshen up your altar. Maybe you want to get real clear on something. Maybe you need to write it down first, all right? Because the moon is in its waning phase. So right now we're in a spot of focusing on the details, right? Um, getting very sure of things, taking care uh, of how it is that we spend in our money as well, um, and reflecting, doing a lot of reflecting as we are going inward to be with ourselves and recognize all that has taken place since the last new moon. Because we about to come up on this Taurus new moon real soon. So um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any group conjures moon gatherings as of this moment. Um, if you are there with us in Patreon, that is something we will be doing there. So, uh, but as far as opening it up publicly, I don't think so. I don't know. But also in um, Patreon. So each tier, you get like one-on-one -on -one time with me to work through, work with all the things that are going on. Right, so through the hypnotherapy, through the readings, you know, I'm more available and accessible to you. Uh, if I'm, if you are in need of what I offer in regards to that, right? So as far as talking, uh, communicating, and connecting with me, uh, when it comes to the work that I do, that would be the best place to do it you know, and, um, or you could purchase uh, something off the website individually, you know, because that is there too, which is what you receive through Patreon, just on a membership level, right, and I, I don't know, I guess, not I don't know, but I look at Patreon, as like a, a self, a place of self-care, you know, so that you can have those tools, those resources, um, to help support you in your growth, your, your grounding, being with and in yourself and being very sure, aligned and um, aware, you know, and what else that I want to say, I think that was it. And then the third tier in Patreon, we're doing a lot of connecting with your ancestors and your own personal uh, connection with that, your personal connection with um magic in itself right and what that looked like for you right i'm not when it comes to the conjure tier i'm not um 
it's not about what I do for myself. It's about what you need for you in connecting with that through uh, what it is that I offer within that realm, you know? So yeah, y'all, I think that's all I wanna share. I think that's all I got to say today. All right. I have been antsy like, oh, I need to, I need to make a post. I need to make a video. But every time something will work out and it's like, oh, that's when I realized like, okay, I'm truly like in this infancy space. You know, I can't talk. I mean, I could talk to the people around me. I can communicate with them because they understand. But to actually put it to words, to make sense of it, I didn't have that yet. And then something happened and here I am. <laughs> okay. So it was like, um, the gun shot off for you to start the, on the race. It was like that. So yeah, y'all. I hope y'all are feeling good today. Tour season is all about feeling good. It's about the pleasures. It is about how does it feel? How does it taste? How does it smell? All right. What it sound like? What it feel like in my body? Right, but Taurus is of the senses. So we can look at that as a like a spiritual sense with your clairs or just actually all of your physical senses. But all those, both of those are very intertwined with one another, right? And um, are supposed to be utilized for you. Those are your own, those are our own personal tools to help us live this life in a way. But the way that the world is set up, we've been so disconnected from it that we don't really recognize these things, okay? So we're not getting into that today. We'll have to make a whole video about that. So I'll talk to y'all real soon. All right, I hope to see y'all in, in the other places if y'all like to join me over there. All right, and yeah, y'all have a wonderful week. Y'all have a wonderful Wednesday. Um, I hope y'all are well within your relationships, whether that is with yourself or with everybody else who is around you, even your relationship with the inanimate things within your life, because there is a spirit living in it all. All right, y'all. So talk to y'all soon. I love y'all. Bye.